This is Doug Brunk of Global Medical News Network reporting from the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society in San Diego. During a poster session, Dr. Elizabeth Plord, a NAMS certified menopause practitioner from Irvine, California, presented a study which assessed the impact of hysterectomy versus euphoral hysterectomy on women's sexuality. A total of 50 women were surveyed. Dr. Plord, please tell us what you found. What we found were significant differences in those women who had a hysterectomy only, and we screened them to make sure that their ovaries were absolutely functioning and they had no menopausal symptoms versus those who had their ovaries removed. And every scale that we measure, the total sexual functioning, the desire for frequency, the desire and interest that they have, and their ability to come to orgasmic completion were all significantly different between these two groups. And we measured them in two different uh, instruments, one on changes, which was a snapshot, and then the one that was developed for this uh, particular study that measured the before and after, what were their experiences before and then after surgery. And all of the scales showed significant difference in much less ability to have sexual pleasure. The only scale that did not reach significance, as, but it approached it with a P of 0 0.043, was arousal and excitement. So we were very uh, amazed at the degree of significance between these two groups. So what would you say the clinical take-home message is for clinicians who care for women? It's very important for women to be appraised of the fact that there is a possibility that if their ovaries are removed that they will uh, experience some decrease with sexual functioning. And if sex is important to the woman, then it's important that she allow to be include that into her decision making as to whether to have her ovaries prophylactically removed or not. Thank you, Dr. Ford. Okay, thank you very much. This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network.